Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Photoshop 2023, and I'm going to show you how to replace a sky in seconds. We're going to use their built-in Sensei AI tech. It's very easy to do. In fact, it's one click if you want to go with a simple version. So the first step is you want to load up your image like I've done here. Now, making sure that it's selected, go up to the top, go to Edit, and then go to Sky Replacement. It's right here. When you do that, you're going to get a few options. Click on this little down arrow here, and then you're going to see three things. If you click on all these little arrows, you'll see blue skies, spectacular, and sunset. So depending on which sky color and type you want, you can select through one of these. I like the spectacular version. Let's go with something like that. How's that for a look? Very cool. Click on OK, and then you're done. You'll see here that it's created a new group with a whole bunch of sublayers, including lighting and masking and things like that and a color correction. Now, if you want to go and add in your own sky, that's a little different. You, of course, will want to get a sky. I go to Pexels, and I just typed in the word sky, and you get all these different free skies. And I don't know, you could go with something cool like that. But that's how you would get the sky. Go back into Photoshop like I've done here. We're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to Sky Replacement again. But this time, we're going to click on the down arrow, but at the bottom here, you're going to see this little square with the plus in it. We could import our own sky images. I click on that, and then if I go to somewhere, let's say my pictures, and I've got this cool looking sky, It's even though it's a little bit uh, narrow, I will click on open, and presto, it's going to pull in that sky, and then it should add it to the bottom of the stack. So let's see, where did it go? Oh, there it is, right here. Pardon me, there it is. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on OK. And then bang, we've added in our sky. Do note that it is giving it a little bit of strange dimensions. So I've clicked on the sky replacement group and I can pull it down if I want to pull it down or up, uh, depending on the kind of look I'm going for. And I can also increase or decrease its proportions. So just keep that in mind that this is just how it works with a custom sky import. And that's it. That's all you need to know. And that's how you import skies with AI in Photoshop 2023. Thanks for watching.